Ongoing effort to put a cover over the Kensington Expressway in Buffalo was energized Friday with the news that the federal government has decided to use $55 million from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act for that project. Channel 2's, Channel 2's Ron Plan spoke with an engineering expert about the major construction work which could be involved. Going below ground is always it's uh, an involved process and there's a, there's a lot more to it than maybe people think. And civil engineer and UB associate professor Dr. Anthony Tassari is a first stand understanding working as a land surveyor with Parkland on the covered portion from Boston's Big Dig project, which took the Central Artery Interstate 93 Highway into a downtown tunnel, reconnecting neighborhoods just as the Kensington project is supposed to do from those separated by the 1950s era construction. It's been done elsewhere in Seattle, Dallas, and European cities. We've seen with other cities and other similar projects that they've chosen to put parks on top. And that has added to the beauty and aesthetic of the project. It draws people in, it, it brings things together. But it's not cheap or easy. The state already committing another $1 billion in taxpayer money for the five to 10 year project for a 4,600 foot tunnel ventilated for vehicle exhaust from Dodge to Sydney streets near MLK Park. It will require specialized planning, equipment, construction techniques, and labor. We kind of already have this trench in the ground. It's not quite deep enough in many sections, so you almost have to go in there, cut down a little bit more, and then you're going to cover back up and make this structure. But you've already, you already said it, right? There's a little bit more uniqueness there. So how do you redirect that traffic for this construction to take place? Uh, how do you deal with you know, construction issues affecting the local community? Um, so even though it's temporary, you have to take into account you're going to be disrupting the local community for, for a certain period of time. And to sorry, Ed. Seeing firsthand the benefit of relinking two parts of Boston with the, the big dig, uh, there were the intangible parts of that that went well beyond just what we saw in terms of uh, a dollar cost. Now, on the other hand, the big dig first estimated to cost $2.6 billion dollars swelled to 14.8 billion when finished in 2007 according to NBC News there were support structure failures even a fatal roof collapse on a car in one location which was near the Boston Harbor others say it did improve traffic flow and spurred economic development in Boston we'll see here in Buffalo which again is a much much smaller project Ron Plants Channel 2 News